Hello, Red here, bringing you part 18 of Byzantine Empire Can into Will into Fighting. The Knight Templar. Let's begin. So here we are, still sieging down a few lands. I think we should speed this up a tiny bit. I think we'll probably assault a few of these holdings. Because I know <clears throat> that if we end up sieging through all these lands one time, it probably brings us around to 30%. Not good enough for when we... Oh! Not good enough for when we try to enforce our demands. And we have 20 people over here wanting to take our land. Let's go and stop that. Now you back off. We're probably going to Nicomedia. Like for us, it's right in the middle of everyone. Maybe we'll just wait for you to land. You'll be at half strength. I'm sending our troops to fight you. Let's split you in half. We get battle, we'll make sure the war scores are in our favor. Plus, you're probably at 60% morale. By the time we're able to fight you. And we also can see if more problems are done. No, we don't have a commander right now, don't we? Now we do. And you only have one commander. So close, all oh, retreating. Oh, okay. victory. What a shame. A ton of things has happened. My favorite daughter, uh, my favorite daughter of the century is now legal age. Princess. Christ, going to the business of the now legal age, and now become a mastermind theologian. Spawn of the Devil. My daughter, Christ, has always been a stranger on my friends and relatives, as well as members of the clergy, with her acts of wanton cruelty, not to mention her creeping buzzing noises she makes, the birds falling down from the sky, and all the accents happening around her. So, I all her best for efforts at education and firm tutoring, all hopes have been dashed. A child no more, she's turned to a friend, a young woman. Demon. My, that face over there just currently represents that. You are quite something. You are a mastermind theologian, born in the purple, a genius, impaler, brave, zealous, arbitrary, wrath, ambitious, envious, lustful, deceitful, Cruel, possessed, voice of Satan, and suspected demons. Well, okay, I think we'll, we'll have to do drastic actions. You'll, you'll take your vows. No. I can educate you. We'll have you. Excommunicated. What can I do? What do you feel excommunicated? No, I just want it gone. That's all I want. You can go. Right, there you go. No harm. I want her gone now. You're married. Find you a lovely husband. Quickly now. Please find my husband. I 
Okay, will you please accept my lawfully wedded possessed demon spawn voice of Satan? Man. Hope, can you go, please go there? There we go. You, Pisa. Please arrange that have my daughter. Yes, there we go. Goodbye. Please go away. Say yes. There you go. Goodbye. You're gone. You are gone. Also, I want you to be excommunicated. If you could be so kind. Nope. Go! Miracle Patriarch Sergius III has excommunicated Chrysogon Camarus at the best of Bastilius Alexis of the Byzantine Empire. My liege, may he live in harmony and contentment. The vile excess of the princess Chrysogon can no longer be tolerated. We agree that she be denied communion, communion and should be excommunicated. There you go, goodbye. You still like me, though. Go, go off to Italy. Go be someone else's problem. Give me puberations. I wouldn't mind at this point to just send these troops over. We can just instantly siege this guy's lands. Oh, he has a measly three troops over here. Go for take care of that. Give them one week. There we go. I can have a son, even though my wife's a tiny bit old. But who cares? I think it'd be a good time to see that land. There we go. I think it'd be a good time to smash that army. Here go the three men all dead. Bizarre. Oh, you don't even have no attackers. So do you have 724 men, or you don't? That's the two questions of the day. Be 23rd, 24th. Good job. Can I go annihilate them? 10 to 1 odds, we definitely got this. Now destroy the center flank. There's a good sign. There we go. And we pretty much just full attack. We got this in the bag. There you go. All dead. It also means we can uh, sort down a few more holdings of yours. There we go. I'm gonna wait for this one to go down. 24 more days, we got this. Let me speed that up a tiny bit. All this for one province. I'm really proud of myself. No, treasures are now gone. As usual, you need to research economy tech. And you 
can research cultural tech. It's not this province is now in the hands of Orthodox. A large merchant caravan from distant lands has arrived at the gates of your stronghold, the illegal, joyful man of massive girth. Pleased with you with a strange accent to grant them shelter from the elements of night. Very well. As evening falls, the fat merchant sits by the fire end and regates you with the rest of the court the stories of his travels. His appetite seems insatiable, but as you do not wish to prove a poor host, you only your servants bring a second serving. Hinduism. And we won the war. Dawn breaks and the caravan prepares to move on. The merchant insists on leaving you a gift. Thanks for your great hospitality. He shouts a test command for a language as a young man comes forward. This eunuch will serve you well, the merchant says. As long as you do, his new master will be upon approach. Here we have Anadolos. And it told us if of you. Oh, well, you're not right, spy master. You're pretty much as good as the guy. He's right there right now. That's for celebration. I think it's time for a feast. There we go. A feast to celebrate one land. Now, ours. Here we go. Good musicians. No marriages. We do have this. This duchy I like to have. The duchy of Ni Gallia. Pardon my butchering. Now let's spend lavishly on food, of course. And this man really wants to marry into our family. He has nothing coming from him, as far as I'm concerned. And my bishop does not like me. And of course that guy doesn't like me either. He just won't turn to my religion. Okay. I know it is impressive that you managed to create your own land, but I don't want to create relations with you. at all. In Cap Capua, no, informed. Well, I can imprison a few people. If an alternative motive, eh, I'll just go talk to him. And that's all taken care of. Looks like the French revolt's not doing so well. Oh, and I hand to another duchy. 66 in favor of King. You're 8% of the Holy Roman Revolt. That's very good to hear. And I have to touch you super super rock. Means I need a twenty-four man. How fast can you even Oh wow. Sixty eight percent. 
You are remarkable. Now I need to make the guy of Moesia to like me. Off you go. Hey, and I have a new air. Mine's touched. You? I still have ambitions to marry you to make you a historian. Look for a woman who's not in prison, who's an officer, not married, who's not a ruler. Any culture, please be. Don't. I'm look for you. There we go. You're my court, actually. Sad's research once more. Let <laughs> me we'll try something a tiny bit different. Let's try Jewish. You look just fine. No. No infidels. Very well. There you go, you're perfect. No, wrong button. You and my son. And my son. Oh, you actually in my court. There you go. You're my area. Uh, yeah. There we go. You're actually a pretty good steward, all things considered. Not a good boy at all. Who can do? So, one thing we can do is go to war against Croatia. I think the best problem to take currently is Rama. And you, one more, and um, yeah, you don't have lights for anyone. So we go for Rama. Italy, we have a few people we can declare war on. Say you. I think we should take Tarento. It's for you. Take that land. Benvenuto. You didn't have any... Oh, you are to Barcelona. No issues. You're too prompt, minor. I think that'll be good enough for now. There, we have a bit of an issue with... raised, uh... That's a levy. So for now, we'll just send all troops. We'll do that. Send 6,000 this way, we'll send 6,000 over here to block off Italy. And this guy's gonna die. And with you. I don't think we really need an issue with. 
We don't have an issue with having to deal with Vassal and Levy. We can deal with this one with our own troops, even though it can harm us. And with that, I think I need to take a break. So I'll be seeing you in the next episode. Goodbye.